coming out so it does say. Hey you guys, uh, this is a microphone check. Let me make sure. Yeah, okay, so we're good there. Hey, what's up? What's up, YouTube? Thanks a lot for watching. I haven't gone live in a minute. I hope you guys have missed me as much as I've missed you. We have a really big treat right now. This doodle has been running around Stray, and a gentleman and his wife have picked him up, and man, we, we, went, we actually met at the veterinarian this morning to just double check, say, hey, he's getting vaccinated, so I'm pretty sure they're going to claim ownership of him, and... In the meantime, he's one of the most matted doodles I've ever seen. And we'll talk more after the groom, but because of your donations, if you guys have supported a rescue group through myfavoritegroomer.com, your funds right here, all of your funds, this is what it goes to, free grooming. So this dog I'm doing for free. If the owner wants to donate to the program, great. If not, I am helping this owner rescue this dog. So this is a huge, like, this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to help our, in our communities and help people around us. And so I hope to be a, a huge help to this gentleman and owning this new dog that he has seen running stray for weeks. Uh, a few days. A few days. A few yeah. days in his neighborhood. And, but your neighbor said that they've seen that dog running. Yeah. So more than a few days. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to, this is a big treat. This is live today, November 17, 2022. Smash that like button. Help everyone smash that like button. Share the video and then let's get started. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for um, your patience. Oh my goodness, man. Okay. I got to tell you, I, in my head, I'm like, I, I don't know what to expect here. So, <laughs> and He's, let me get he you. He seems really, really calm. He seems really, really calm, but you guys know as soon as we get into the legs, we might see someone different. But um, yeah, <laughs> he does. He was calm during the vaccinations. He was calm in line. He was calm meeting me. Yeah, he was awesome. If you want to tell, if your wife wants to watch right now, you can get on My Favorite Groomer on YouTube and share the link to her and say, we're doing this right now, hon. If you want to watch, <laughs> okay, and let me get um, a U.S. smock. Let me see if I have a smock that I fit you. Put this on when you're done. Uh, the netting on the back. And then I would wear a face mask because the hair will stick to your face and then it's itchy and then it itches all for the whole rest of the time. I'm putting your coat in the lobby. So it's not on the floor. Okay, we got everything here. We got this and this. Okay. So we're going to try to go quick because I know you have to go to work too, right? Yes. So we're going to do this. Does that fit you? Yes. Yes, it fits. Okay, so we're going to get your pet up here. Let me get the arm ready to go here. Oh, my goodness. Let me take some... Not see your face at all, dude. But your tail's wagging. You're happy. Are you happy? Oh, no, my dogs do that too. Look at your paw. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Do you know we're gonna help you today? Look at your mouth. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Okay. It's so emotional, isn't it? I know you've been seeing him. He's so, it's so emotional to see him in this condition. Oh my, oh my, oh my. 
Okay. Okay, you guys. Since 2020, no, that's not right, high tech plumber. You missed a bunch of lives, right, you guys? All right. Um, I am pretty sure pet parent is gonna, maybe gonna name the dog Mango. So let's just let's just go with it for a minute. Do you mind? That's fine. Mango, Mango, Mango. We're gonna um, we're gonna bring you up here, okay? Can I can I get you to come on the table here, bud? Oh my goodness. Did you go up? Did you get up in the car? Come on, up, Mango. It took you a while. Up. I'm sorry, can I get close here? I know, that's so matted. Okay, me and you, go one, two, three. I'm gonna turn you around, Mango, I'm gonna turn you around here, okay, bud? Here you go. I'm gonna scoot you over, okay? And Dad, camera's there, I'm gonna move the camera. You can kind of be in here and kind of do this thing okay. while I just work on that whole back side. Okay, you guys. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Grab some of this here. We are just gonna go into the legs first. I wanna do the legs first, so I'm gonna do a cone head first in case he gets really upset. And I wanna say, this is just right size here. Okay, this is only, this, can he bite me still? Absolutely. But this will be like, if he bucks back, at least I have a minute to kind of readjust my body, okay? So he might go boom, he might come down and kind of boom, boom, because I'm gonna get into his legs first, all right? Okay. This might be interesting, just roll with it because I don't know him and neither do you. It's, it's looking at his legs here, okay? Breathe, take a deep breath. This is about to go down. <laughs> You guys know me well. It's about to go down. Okay, you ready? Um, you just never know. You just never know, do you? We'll do this leg for you guys on YouTube first. Okay, here we go. Coming in. Oh, yeah. It's, it's so mad as well. So first we need to work an angle in there, you know what I'm saying? You gotta cut a hole in there somehow. And I'm using a, my five speed, which you guys can get at myfavoritebimmer.com. I'm also using a 10 blade, that's the shortest, safest blade to use. If you have mats, I don't suggest any other blade, the 10 blade. You're just gonna have to chisel as you go, and it might not look pretty. It may not look like you're doing a very good job, it don't matter, just get the hair off. YouTube, can you see that okay? Oh my goodness. You can look here too, Dad. I, that way you can get a, that. Yeah, that's good right there, right? You can kind of see where I'm going down there. Okay, here we go. If you get hot, let me know. Um, in a minute, I'll hit, turn the air on. I can't believe I have to turn the air on, but it gets hot in here. Freaking 50, 50 outside and I have to turn the air condition on. <laughs> Am I in your way? I'm in no, your way. I'm in the camera's way. Okay.
Will you let me have this, Mango? Thank you. You're weak on that? Okay. I'm going to take all that off, okay? You're doing so good, Mango. You're doing so good. You got a sore right there? That's something. That's something there, Dad. I'm going to call you Dad. Okay. Oh. Hey. You see it? Yeah. Hold on, baby. I know it's I know it's tight underneath. I know it is. It's so mad in my here. I gotta get in there, okay? No offense. Well, no offense to anybody because he's been stray. Whoa, um, do you see this? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Food for thought here. That was broken or was or uh, odd. I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But this right here, this is running for weeks, huh, honey? Mm -hmm. This is this doesn't happen in a couple days. Yeah. Maybe like months. He's been running around by himself for months. We've been feeding him though. Oh my god, look at that nail. Oh my gosh. John, like what? Are you feeling me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, did your heart just hurt? Yeah, I've seen that. Oh my gosh, what? Seen seen the nail that just. Look at this nail. You can you guys see this nail? Look at this nail, you guys. This is like whoa. Look at this nail. It's like looking at me. Oh my goodness. Man, I wish I could do a lot more free. I wish I really could, but I can't. I have I can't. I I can't. I can't. I can't do it alone. If you guys can donate, please donate. But like things like this that I do, like Whoa, this is insane. Oh gosh, man, this is crazy. I wish I could do for everything free, but if I didn't have bills, you know. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Is that feeling a little better? And then like the position of his arm here, it totally looks like he has definitely got undergone I'm just sorry, my heart is killing me right now. My heart just hurts. Okay. I have to change blades, which is why I stopped. I'm actually gonna try not to change blades. I'm gonna try to go just take this, use this prefer. There's like um stuff in there that could be in the skin lodged in the skin later when you get home you can check see how raw that is right there that was stuck in his skin right there stuck in his skin that little pebble you know like you, you saw it right yeah. did you see it that little whatever from just running astray he has it could be in his skin throughout so just kind of look around as we get him cleaned up and you go home look in there have the wife look in there kind of look around he seems nice enough to let you kind of look in there and just make sure there's nothing in there that you can just pull out of the skin, okay? okay. From running stray. Hang in there, bud. See right like this stuff? You wanna see? Oh, I'm gonna yeah. get I'm gonna shave what I can, but have her really look and make sure nothing is um, there's a there's a there there's a um there's a weed, like a willow something, uh -huh. and it's like a needle. So 
because I'm seeing some of this now, like that's right there, that trickle already. If you guys want to support stuff like this, of the free ones that we do, you can go to myfavoritegroomer.com, search donations, and you can send donations if you want. That way the funds go right to uh, the rescue dogs, like the ones I pick up, the food, vaccinations, people like this that I help. He called me, this owner, right, Jonathan? You called me what time last night? 7.30. And then I was meeting you at what time today? Uh, 8.30. <laughs> I, I texted you first thing, didn't I? Yep. Oh yeah, it's all throughout that those oh what am I, what am I trying to call it? The weeds, they're all everywhere. Mm -hmm. If you, if you need a chair, you let me know, okay? As we get in there, because this might this might be a while. You okay? Are you okay to be here? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll come back at this pad. I need to come at a different angle. I'm gonna go reverse with my pen. Who cares? I just have to get in here. It, just, it is what it is. I can't see like the skin. <laughs> can't see what's going and coming. Okay. Could you see his leg doing that with the hair? No, no right? No. Ain't that some crap right there? Do you guys see his leg? Can you tell his leg has just been like, yeah, whoa. Lucy, stop telling me what to do. You have to let the blade cool. There's a rhythm to everything that I do. Thanks for watching though. Don't tell me what to do, I'm the professional. Help out. Why don't you help me help out? How about that? Don't be negative up in my feet. Why don't you just be nice and help out instead of bitching? There's a rhyme and reason to everything I do. You, I don't need to tell you what it is. I just need to do it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, we're gonna come. He's good on the legs. So I thought he would fight a lot. So what I might do is just come back to the body and, and attack the body hard. Because I, that'll give his legs a break a little bit. Because then we'll see a lot more hair coming off because the, the legs are so hard to do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Does that make sense? Yes. And then maybe even uh, come back over here and actually trim his face so we can see his eyeballs. So he's good here. He's good here for now. I'm going to trust him a little bit. Right, you guys? How many? How often does the dog actually not bite during something as bad as his feet? Right? He, dogs like this, they're mad at like that. They go, they're mean, right? All right, let's get his eyes at the pit. Let's let you guys see his eyes, okay? Well, that's a good position. That's good. Okay. It's just your body there. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh, let's get this cleaned up. Okay. Here we go, I'm taking it all off, here we go. Can you see your eyeballs? Can we see your eyeballs? 
I'm trying to see where his ears are. I don't know where that's at. Hi, bud. Can we see your face? Okay, I can see your eyes on your face. is so mad. Hi, buddy. Smell that funkiness? You do? You smell it? Okay. Right there, I can really smell it. I'm hoping it's the hair, but I gotta check the ears. Subscribe, girl. So tell her, subscribe she's, to the channel. She's working from home. So. 
Oh, she? Oh, my. Yeah. Tell her to put it on the TV, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, I'm giving him a rest. I'm letting my blade rest. Yeah, you know what happened? You know why I don't have to tell you everything? As I went to Hawaii to groom recently, they lost my bags. So they lost all my blades. I just got them back yesterday, last night, and I haven't unpacked. And I didn't know we were doing this until late, and I didn't think about it. So I have all my blades in my suitcase, so there's more to the story than what meets the eye. But it's true. Um, and this is my sharpest blade, so let me see here. Let me just rotate to another blade here. This is not a ceramic, so I wanted to use ceramics, but Giving it, giving it a rest. Here we go. Let's go, let's go to the body now. Now that we got the face, we'll come back to and like clean some stuff up. But now that we have the face, let's kind of work on some body stuff. Okay. Here we go. You guys got a face view here. What I'll do is come down the neck for you. Yeah, the neck's really matted. Have you ever done this, Jonathan? No. <laughs> so this is enlightening? Yes, it is. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Not that you need enlightenment. You have a palm? Uh, a ski? Palm ski yeah. That you guys pretty much maintain at home? Yes. Not this guy. He's gonna need help. He's gonna need some grooming later. Did, did you have them do a, he doesn't have a microchip? Nope. Did you go last night? Yes. You, you yes. did? Yes. Woo, <laughs> baby. I told him go last night at 7.30 when he called me. Where did you go? What veterinarian? Um, it was a 24 um, in an alliance. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, you are awesome. No microchip. No. So I said before you put in the money and everything like that, go to get a microchip, like check his microchip. And that was late last night. And so he did. And there was no microchip, so... By the way, I, my, the dog I rescued the other day, there was a microchip. It doesn't mean it fixes anything. It doesn't mean you're not gonna take ownership, you know what I'm saying? What's crazy is I had... I'm stopping for a reason. It, what's crazy is I had no idea he was this big. So when I saw him in the car today, my mouth dropped. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking, small dog? Very rarely do you ever see a okay, doodle, uh -huh. ever, running, right, running astray. Very rarely we ever see your breed running astray, you know what I'm saying? Oh, gosh. He could have been hit by a car, you know, and then just uh, uh, was out there for four months running, just back and forth, and just, can you imagine? And then just, it just got to where it got, you know? I've got a veterinarian I'll refer you to okay. if you want to do an x-ray. It's okay. pretty affordable, like super, at least just to know. Yeah. So some of you guys are like, when I'm grooming, or anybody else is grooming a matted dog, you're like, why don't you just cut that off right there? It actually helps to pull the hair away from the skin so you can get right to the hair. And then don't forget, this dog has been in this condition for possibly months. So just a few more seconds is not a big deal. Just we're getting it off. But sometimes when you're grooming, it really helps just to leave the hair intact so that you have a, a position to hold 
or a position to move the hair as it's hanging with the weight of the hair so that you can get it away from the skin in order to get a good cut without nicking the skin. Like some of you guys just don't know that. I'm going to tell you right now, I never told you that before, but that's why I won't just cut this off right here. Because see here, it's pulled away from the skin. So being that the mat is helping me pull that hair off the skin, when I cut here, I'm not going to nick them. Okay. Okay? So I can cut this right here for, for what though? It's all going to come off here in a second. But look, this hair right here is so tangled up, it's pulling on the skin. And do you know how long it's probably been there? Three months. Right? Three months. So a few more minutes here, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I want that. I'm just saying that's why we might not cut it where you want us to cut it right then while they're matted. There's a reason. Because if I didn't want to cut it like that just because, that's heartless. And that's not who I am. But do you see what I'm saying? You yes. see how it pulls yeah. out? Mm -hmm. You, you so chisel you can it. Get under yeah, so like I can that. get under there. Because mm -hmm. can you see it there? Nope. No, you can't see it. You can literally, this will, I, I, I cut some chicken with this. And I showed it on my YouTube video. Like I, I deboned or whatever a chicken with this blade. Wow. This is no joke. This will cut. This is the safest blade, but it will cut, it will cut the skin. If you do it just right, it'll still cut the skin. Funny how he looked back when I said mango. Did you guys see that? When I said, hey, you did it again. You did it again. You looked back. Do you like that name? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry what you've been through. I'm sorry what you've been through. We fix it, okay? We fix it. Hey, buddy. Feel this? The blade? See why I stopped? Mm -hmm. You get it now? Wonderful personality, so mellow. Same as a pool. Yeah. Did you um, let him around your palm ski yet? Or in another, like, oh no, yes. the, garage, the garage thing. Did you already, really? Yes. No. Yeah. Come in. So uh, four backs? Before that vaccination? Well, they weren't. That's how they met. That's oh, how I oh. was able to get him to come. Oh, your other dog got him? Yeah, pretty much. So. Oh, that other dog loved you already? You got lucky. You yeah. got lucky with this one. That was a good tactic. Yeah. You have, Yeah. You went to the other dog? Oh, my goodness. Hi, baby. We're getting you cleaned up. Yes, we are. Same. It looks a lot smaller. <laughs> All that extra on them. Okay.
What I am gonna do is what I like, and again, even my, my the scissors I wanna use, they got lost. So what I will do is I will cut this in half so you can start spreading this and make sure you can see tip to tip. When you do this, make sure you can see tip to tip. Don't leave one tip of the scissor in there somewhere. So now that it's spread like that, I can go that way with that and that way with that, okay? Okay? I don't have an idea. You want to try it? Just a couple slides? Mm, I don't feel confident enough. <laughs> 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 yeah, I make it look really easy. Will you tell your friends about me? Yes, definitely. You know, my girl, you're gonna... gonna get you sweaters. No sweaters. <laughs> no, no, sweaters. no sweaters. No, unless you're gonna brush every day. Okay. It will make it this. It turns sweaters do this. No sweaters if you can give him a blanket, because he can okay, leave the blanket. blanket behind, but he doesn't wear, he can't take the sweater off himself. But give him a blanket, you know what I mean? That he can, like, this is your baby, this is your fleece blanket. Yeah. Matter of fact, Ross, I love getting them, and then even check the baby section. Okay. $9.99. Get that fleece blanket for him. Ross, TJ Maxx, they have blankets, bedding for dogs that even a small business like me, I can't even compete with that. Okay, we're getting to a point where I really have to get in there, like details, the detail of it all, okay. Sorry, that was off balance. My bad. I just got to stretch that skin out there. So I honestly believe in God, and I believe that God works in all his ways. And when you put stuff in the universe, like last night, you needed me. And so today, today my uh, my first appointment canceled. Yeah. Opened it right up for you. <laughs> yep. And so um, that's immediately meant last. to be. Yeah, it was meant, like, it will happen. If you put it in the universe, and I think you're, if you're doing good things, it, it'll, it'll come to pass. So immediately I was on the phone to you, and I, I got to be honest with you, I get a lot of calls. And I was like, this guy ain't going to come in. He ain't going to get vaccinated. It's a joke, you know, like, no way. But when I texted you this morning, 
and you were like, I'm headed there in traffic. Yeah. I'm like, me too, right? <laughs> um, I knew it was like, okay, then, then we're going right from there yeah. to my shop, you know? And then I had to cancel, so it just opened it up for you. Yeah, it was perfect. Him, I wanted him taken care it's of so as perfect. Possible. Because he works today, so we were trying to like work him in. I was trying to just, I said I would have done it last night even, yeah. but, you weren't, but I wanted vaccinations just to be safe. Hold on, bud. Hold on, buddy. Oh, gosh. So uh, did, you gave a flea. Yes. So uh, this is thousands of fleas are about to be somewhere here, unless it worked. Okay. Yeah, I was broke okay. medical. My heart's pounding because I all these black dots, that's flea remnants, you know. That's from fleas. All these pepper, uh -huh. all that's from fleas. But I haven't seen any here. But they can hide anywhere still. Because I mean I'm still working on the mats. But that's that's a telltale sign of a lot of fleas. Do you see in here? Yeah. Do you see, like yeah, right? You, you're not just saying that. You no, see all those dot, dots? Little. It's a Looks lot. Like yeah, it's a lot. They all might just be hanging out at the tail. We'll see here as we get it all off. But that's a that's a conducive sign. There's a lot of fleas. Not just one, like a lot. So I'm hoping that that product you gave like killed them off. But I got my eyes open because I gotta spray around us if, if there is. If I see really see you some, I need to like not invest the shop, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what? It smells. Does it? Yeah. Okay, well, I can't smell it just yet. You telling me I need to take a shower after this? <laughs> I don't know if it's from up here. If it's trying to stay short of me, but. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be really upset if I get down to that and there's fleas all that. I'm going to be very upset because I haven't seen nothing up here. Like, nothing. And then, you know me, I've had my eyes wide open. Flea eggs can last three years, three years without hatching. So just because you see a flea doesn't mean like, oh, we got to handle this. It's like in the environment. So if he's been in your house or whatever, I would recommend spraying wherever that is, okay, in that garage area yeah. and all that. Even if you gave a pill, just maybe something came off the body, yeah. you know? Hopefully three years. Not. Hopefully not. <laughs> in this case? Yes, John. <laughs> yes. Spray the garage! No, I'm saying hopefully there's not any... No, but the eggs are not... Yeah. The eggs don't die. Yeah. The fleas do on that medicine you gave. Oh, I, I will get... The doubling spray. spray. If, if you need to borrow a spray... I'm stopping for a reason. Stop it. Um, if you need to borrow a sprayer, I'll let you borrow it. I'll, I'll uh, donate you to borrow the sprayer or bring it back. You know what I mean? Mango, at some point you're going to have to stand back up for me, okay? Like, we're getting to that point where I really need you to stand up. Can stand up, buddy? Alright. Can stand up? I'm going to work every angle I can, but at some point we have to stand back up to get that bum going, okay? Alright, buddy? Is Pookie Puppy out there? MP, what's up? All you memberships out there, I, I see you. Grandma Shell, thank you all for being members for so long. I appreciate you. I'm going to read off a list of people who had donated over, over the last year for rescue group grooming and uh, just say thank you to you guys. But some of the top donators, especially from the past, have been MP, Pookie Puppy, Grandma Shell. You guys know who you are, and I really appreciate you. I do not take you for granted. Even Mama G, she's a top donator. Buffy, top donator. You know, we got some top donators out there. I appreciate you guys.
Yeah, that's my stomach. I did not have breakfast. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this would be quick one. I do I always set myself up to fail? Like, I'm like, I looked at the dog in the car at Texas Coalition. I was like, what? <laughs> did you see my face? Yes. I was like, um, Shih Tzu? No, I don't know where I heard Shih Tzu from. Like no coffee, not that I drink coffee, but no coffee, no food. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm, this is gonna be crazy. You gonna sit back down? Okay. Let me see what you, I mean, just in case we have to leave, let me kind of contain this stuff here. Okay. All right, you gotta stand up here, bud. Gotta stand up. There we go. I'm just trying to work this. This is all red from the mats pulling for so long. So just a couple days a week, it'll start to look better. There's also a funky smell back here like anal glands, but once we get the bath, it might be fine. Okay. It's just probably a buildup. It's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate him and kind of come to the leg and give him, let him just rest a second. All right. Um, When you see the blade, can you tell it barely touches the skin? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. I actually I pull it. It goes against. Right, but it's not really on the skin. I actually kind of push it away. I don't know how to explain it, but can you see that? Yes. Isn't that cool? Someone that can see it. That's not going directly on. Yeah, it's not. It's. I try actually not even to touch the skin itself. It's. It's the weirdest thing, um, because when you have teeth that are moving, that are cutting hair at the same time. It'll cut the hair, pull it away, all at the same time. It's not like just sitting there touching the skin, you know what I'm So I'm just going to say this now before it happens. When I take this patch of hair off, it's going to be free of air and it's going to be cool. Shake. And he might shake. We don't want that. 
We don't want him to shake his head over and over and over and cause his ear flaps, just like wrestlers get that folded ear and it gets all puffy and all that and it doesn't go away. We don't want to see him through tonight shake his head until he causes harm to his ear flap. In about two or three days, as the hair grows every second of the day, as the hair grows every second of the day, um, you will find there will be hair on the ear in a few days, and then in a week it will be looking good. But you just want to prevent him from just all day just Just flap. Because I'm about to make it clean. And it's been heavy and not clean for a long time. So as it is new, he's going to be like, oh, what's going on? I can feel the breeze. What is this? It's cool now. And it's cold at night, at day. You know, it's, th- it's 30 to 40 degrees here today. So don't let him do that. And then I have a product that I can show you you can buy. Okay. It's a hoodie that you can put on his ears, but only when I take it off, because he's not doing it right now. And when he does, I don't want, not that you would, I don't want you to think like, oh, you heard him. No, 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 no. He's, he's missing this, this, this cotton puff. So if he shakes a lot, then that's something I'm going to recommend you do. Okay. Because it, you know what a hematoma is? Yes. Okay, so it will cause, like you take that, if I took your ear off and smashed it and slapped it, it would cause a hematoma. You know, it's just cartilage that's now having some problems. So we want to watch that. Okay, okay I'm about to take it off. Okay, you guys. <laughs> you ready, bud? If you guys are out there, I'm resting for a reason. If you guys are out there and you're cutting the ear off, you have to go and you have to go out, out, and down. Okay? Um, Dad, do me a favor. Stand there, but hold his paw. Like there you go. That's fine. That's fine. I'll move this. Just get. He wants some support. Isn't that something else? You see him wanting support. And then I'm gonna have you just. There you go. Perfect. Dad's gonna support you. Okay? I can't support you and take the hair off. Okay, you look at dad. Look at your new dad. So you want to go out, out, and down. That's how you do the ears, okay? Anything else will put the ear flap in the clipper. We don't want that. In the blade, I should say. So there's his ear, and this is all just hair. So we'll come in here and kind of open this up now. Yeah, his ear is infected, or it looks to be, I'm not a veterinarian, so I can't say they're infected because I have no test, but um, I've been doing this 19 years, so I just want to say, looks we got a problem good. here. I have some solutions for you, I'll let you know what I think as we get further along. But you are welcome to see a veterinarian. But that smell, that's what it's from, 100%. And that's, um, usually this color is water getting in the ears. So if he's been running the neighborhood, definitely. Water has been definitely getting in his ears like when it rained the last time. It's a few times because he's been out a while, you know. Even if he wasn't running the street, if he was in someone's backyard. Look at that. That's his ear. So I told you I was taking it off. Now you know why. Like now it's going to be real breezy in there, right? Yep. Look at that, you guys. Whoa. This all has to come out. That's insane. Feel that. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard because there's so much ear hair and it all needs to be compacted in there. So ear hair on, on dogs need to be pulled out. And so this was never pulled out. It doesn't grow like that. It's a little bit and then a little bit and then a little bit and a little bit and until it's like that. So that's a, a since lot. he was born. So when you're trimming the ear, right here is a pocket. You can hardly, right here. Do you see that? There's actually a flap there. You see that? 
Oh, yeah. See how that? It goes right there. That's a that's actually oh. skin flap, and then it goes like this. It goes a whole flap there, like that. Wow. So you can open it up in him because he's a big dog, but little dogs have it too, and that's one of the most common things that are nicknamed. Yeah. We'll come back to the inside of the ear, we'll move forward from here. But that's why, if you can tell, I'm kind of gentle. I'm actually vigorous, but gentle at the same time, because I have these areas I need to be really careful as I go into. And that's one of them. Oh, what, what I tell you? Remember, I told you guys just now. That's why I wanted to tell them before we went further that that might happen. Look what's happening already. Right? I was right. I'm always right. No, I'm not always right. I'm just saying, like, I, I know what I'm talking about. All right, let me um, itch my eye. Hi. Hi, you're doing so good. You're doing so good, Mango. Yes, you are. You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. Look at all that. What do you think? What do you think? Is that crazy? Look at that. That's insane. Huh? I know you're going to shake with your other paw now. Oh, my dogs do that too. Yes, they do. They do do that too. <laughs> What's funny is that how many of you guys get to watch this kind of stuff live? Like no editing, live on YouTube. The nitty gritty stuff live. You guys thinking about that at all? I didn't take out rough stuff because there was there's nothing. I'm, I'm live with you right now. You're gonna see the rough stuff. This blade, this is his head. Oh. This. That's your head. That was on your head. You don't want to smell it. Okay. I got you, bro. I'm bothering my eye. I'm going to tickle in my eye. Yeah. Is it okay, Tom? Yes.
Did they look at his teeth? Well, her, yeah. his or her teeth? Mm -hmm. What'd they say? Maybe he's probably two years old. Two years old? Mm -hmm. Two or three? Yeah. I saw you, I, I, I'm purposely slowing down, but um, I saw you guys point to me. So you told that veterinarian? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah he, I know him. Um, he's seen me a lot. <laughs> yeah. He said he wanted me to take him back after he was done. Really? Yeah. Wait, what? To take him back so you could see him. Once oh, really? Yeah. Are you, you can let me see here. If we're by, down by 12, you can go that way. Yeah. Which, where, which side of town do you live on? Are you on? Yeah, but I work that way. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. 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 But if you do it today, you, you don't have to go back. Mm -hmm. Or tomorrow. It's morning. You can do tomorrow morning. I, I'm concerned about this. And there's one more bump. i got to feel around again and see what I saw it. This is interesting, but sometimes when things are, yeah, I don't like that one. I, I, I can't speak. Sometimes when there's a pin lodged in there, like all those weeds and stuff, when it's in there for a while, it causes an infection and a mass right there. But this one's an interesting, it's um, hard, right? And then we're concerned about that too. He may be able to tell you what that is. It could be like normal, but genetics that he's seen before. Yeah. Then that would eliminate you getting an x-ray. So, I mean, that, that could be a free little consult right there. If he's willing to do that for you. He's probably trying to say that because you picked him up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, we got to figure this out here. He looks like a whole different dog, doesn't he? Is it here? I haven't figured it out yet. I'm not get, I haven't gotten <laughs> down there yet. Is he a boy or a girl? Do you know? Yeah, he seems to be a boy from when I tried to Can you to see everything? Him. Oh, uh, you, have, you haven't saw it yet? No. Oh, you don't even know either. Oh, my goodness. What did you put on your paperwork? No. Okay, okay. Let's just... I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> you are a keeper. Yeah, yes, you are. I, when I was trying to get some of the mud off of him. Okay. It seemed to be. Okay, so. okay. We'll see you in a second, won't we? take and not take. There we go.
There we go. There it is. That's the ear. Oh, dude. Okay. Yeah, see here, the ear is really raw in there. See how red it is? From pulling. Yeah, from, it actually was also wet too. So it just kept pulling on the whole head, the ear, you know, for, for, for hours and days. So now he's, I would say if, if someone was, if something was pulling on my body like that, it's actually painful. Yeah. It's not not painful. And the way he's taken it, it's like, I'm like, whoa, he's doing really, really good. So treats when you get home, and just like a good couple days of just spoiling, because he's been in a lot of pain. He, he's one of those dogs, uh, which is rare, one out of five, one out of ten. He's, he's not complaining. So if he had trauma or pain, he, he's like one of those dogs that won't complain. You won't, it would be like, he's not in pain, he's not showing it. Well, there's no way there's no pain here. There's just no way, you know. I did a video of one of my younger dogs where she has pain in her mouth and she's screaming. So some people might say dogs don't feel pain, and that's oh, not right. That's, a lie. that's <laughs> no. I, I I showed you guys on that short my Saki. She let me know that her mouth hurt bad. Like she's in due for she's got an appointment for surgery. Just sometimes the dog won't say anything. Like, um, they won't say anything like that, but body language and... I do not like this blade at all. I don't have another turn blade here. I don't know if this one. Oh, you bathed him yesterday? Yes. Some of the wetness that didn't dry is from that. I tried my best bathing. You guys, he didn't know better. He said, I just went to a store down the road and he bathed the matted dog. And you guys know, what would you guys say to the feed? What would you guys say? What would you guys say? They've, no, they've been following me for years. I'm like, so what did I say to him? The first thing I was like, don't bathe the matted dog, no!
first things Jonathan did when he brought this dog home was give him a flea pill. And i got to be honest with you, that was a super wise decision. I have yet to see fleas. I mean, they may be really underneath the dog, but everywhere in the entire body, this dog has no fleas so far. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pull you this leg here. Come, don't lose your balance here, bud. You can get in there. I'll move everything around. You can be on that side if you want right there. Yeah, well, that's good. Like that. Yeah, don't oil your blades while you're grooming or the hair will stick in the blade and you will not go through even worse. So his coat is a little wet from the back yesterday. So you can hear my blades. That's the third 10 blade I'm using. The blade is suffering a little. It doesn't want to go through the hair because it's wet. So those of you guys who think that wet shaving works, I, I disagree. It doesn't, this is not even totally wet and I, I just, I've never seen, um, I don't agree with that. But if I oil my blades right now, it will not go through. It actually will start to pull the hair and keep the hair inside the blade, which we don't want right now. We want to get done with the groom. This real smelling. Oh, use a paper towel. You got hair in your eye? If you do, use a paper towel so you don't get, it don't get stay itchy for the next couple hours until you get home. The dander will be on your fingertips, the fingertips will be on your face, like that. It's probably just because uh, it's in the air because the coat's so dirty.
wants to stand on one side to just Get your tail out and out. Hang tight, hang tight. Let me get it out. Don't sit down yet. Good boy. Good boy. Don't let me forget to change this back for you guys. Good job. You gotta see the tip. So you see tip to tip, then you can take the cut. When you're working with the tail, stuff like this, it's and the legs, sometimes it's like you have to actually do um, painting holes. You roll them off, roll it all the way off. Let me change my blade.
Hang in there, bud. You're doing good, Mango. You're doing good, Mango. Yes, you are. You're doing awesome. Best dog ever. Look at that. That's the tail. I think it took 30 minutes just to get the tail off. Wow. Okay. Um, I want to keep going, but I am going to give you a rest from this. That's the XL. Those of you guys who want the dog up stand, that's the XL. He can actually go with the large dog up stand, but I, that's the only one I have in the room right now. So the XL worked for him. But I'm not going to, I don't need that. You can sit down, Mango. You want to sit down? You can sit down. Now you don't want to sit down? Okay. <laughs> if you sit down, I'm going to move uh, to your front leg. Okay. All right. We're going to come back for that. So I'm giving, I, I'm letting him tell me what to do in his own way. But next time, next time I'm not, I'm going to do my system. But you should not be mad at <laughs> You shouldn't be mad at next time. Nope. Oh, gosh. You guys okay there? No. Nope. I told you guys to remind me, you know what I'm saying? Because I brought you in a close-up on that tail, you know what I mean? How are you guys doing out there? Thanks for watching. Be sure you hit that like button for me. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber. That always helps. Follow us on Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, you know, everywhere. Position allows me to come through and get this too right here. Hang in there, this is a sensitive area. Don't look at me like that. I know what's back here, okay? Like, do you have to touch that area? Like, really? How am I doing? Good. Good. Are you happy? He looks totally different. Well, he looks happy. <laughs> Relieved. He was heartworm negative? Correct. Awesome. I can't wait till he gets spunk. Mad? Mad? Thank you. Did you start feeding him right away? Yes. Was he eating? He was eating. Uh, it seemed to like what my dog had, so. Okay. His size, uh, I think my dog is a cup and a half to two cups twice a day. 
So just make sure he's uh, make sure you read the bag for his size. That you sometimes we don't know um, what's it, the amount. Yeah, because he was. So just get him up to that. Seventy-two pounds at the. So today. Yeah. Seventy-two like, pounds. After all that's gone, he's probably like. <laughs> 60, <laughs> like sixty, sixty-five pounds. We maybe. did a wait. <laughs> we did a matted dog on YouTube uh -huh. before, and we weighed it. It was only like three pounds. Nah. So so just you know yeah, make sure you. Yeah, seventy pounds. And I want to say he's right where he should be, uh -huh. size-wise. So just make sure he is eating. But are you this calm all the time? We'll see, huh? Yeah, he was pretty calm in the car, huh? So we'll see. He should have some personality come through after we get all this off, honestly. Now I'm going to take this. Can I, I hate to put weight on that. I don't want to favor that for him. If this was broken, it's healed. It's healed like this, or he would be in much more pain. You know what I'm saying? And you did, that's it, oh, 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 it did, it did break, huh? This is a bone here. Uh -huh. Come look. That's what you were saying feel that. earlier. So it broke and healed, feel that right there, it's sticking out. Doesn't that feel like the tip of a bone? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, John. Feel it like this, feel it like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, doesn't it, that's a bone, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bone, dude. Oh my, oh my, really? That all went down? No, this is, no, this is not normal. That's not normal. Yeah. Oh my, really? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, but it's healed, you know what I mean? It's, that's healed. It healed wrong, but it healed. Oh my goodness. You gotta talk to a vet. I don't know if I would break that again and fix it. I don't know that I would do that. But the x-ray and the vet will tell you. Veterinarian will tell you what they think. So can I put pressure on that? <laughs> I want to pick this leg up. Is that okay? If you want to support him on that side, you can. I, I just, I don't know. Okay, let me see. Can I do that? Like if you actually want to give him like body support right there so that all his weight's not on this arm. You can get in there like this. Okay. So not all the weight is on that arm, if that makes sense. Right, you guys? Would you agree? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I mean. his leg. We change to a 40 blade. We're gonna go to a 40 blade. Right, let's see. Can I um one here? Look at now, okay? Look at now. You're okay. You're okay, man. I'm sorry. You gotta get it out, okay? You're okay, man. It's fine. Come on. Come on. I know it's probably the same for my pickles. Stay with me. Okay. 
putting all his weight here so he knows he can't put all the weight on that one so if you want to hold him up you can you know like you know what i'm saying because his whole body weight's going on this arm while i hold it at least at least a bit and here we go one two three while i'm here i'm going to come and do the underneath the pack That's because it's wet and it's pulling there. So now just when we wash it, clean it, just keep an eye on it. Don't let him lick it until his mouth gets it infected. To see how raw it is in here. It doesn't need it. Um, it needs it, it. All that needs to just come out. It should start to look good now that it's out. Okay, stay there just a second. While you're there, I'm going to actually um, let my blade cool for a second, but also do that pad that while you're going to hold it. So we'll give him some support there. Hey, what's up, you guys? How's it, how's it going? How's the view so far? How are you guys viewing it? What does it look like to you? Are you guys enjoying the watch? Did you guys go get some coffee? <laughs> this is a long one, isn't it? See how raw it is though, right? Okay. Just keep an eye. One, like I'm calling it out so that you can really watch as it changes. So you know what it looks like today, and then you want to be like, oh, that looks, that's looking really good, right? Oh, that looks really good. You know what I mean? So you can kind of monitor it. While you're here, I'm going to do a toenail trim on the front feet, so we can just be done with the front feet. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, bud. No dew claws there. So here we go, lifting. Some of the ones that are short here, you know what happened? They got ripped right. out. Oh. They ripped out, like the short ones, and they regrew. The really short ones. I 
I said the vein right, that's a vein right there. So I'm gonna stay there. That nail is different right now for whatever reason. Yeah, okay, I'll let you do the other nails later. That nail is different because of the, the trauma. Some, oh, whatever okay. happened with that, is that nail is different. It forced it to grow out and over and up. So it's okay, but I'm just saying like, that's just gonna look different from, for the rest of his life probably. That hair around where he pees, I, I honestly can't believe sometimes the animals can like still pee through that. I, it's so hard, this is water. I just have to see if I can loosen it up to shave it or I can just wait till after the bath. But do you see how, like, how can hair go through that? I mean, how can pee go through that? Sorry, how can pee go through that? It's just totally hard as a rock. Okay, stand up, honey. Let me just see if I can soften right next to the skin. So my clipper will go through it. Okay, bud. Yeah, it's softening. Okay, don't look at me like that. John, come, come on down. Come, come help him look the other way. <laughs> don't look at me like that, bud. I'm not doing it on purpose. Okay? Anyway, I wish I didn't have to. here it's really raw and red in there so I'm so glad you're this you're, if you're gonna keep him that you get to see all this honestly yeah so this right here like you're a man right so yeah. like so this right here cute. is really thank you <laughs> okay yeah. now that you see that uh -huh. I can tell you that I would say it wouldn't be surprising if he had a bladder infection because he's peeing and it's not really doing nothing, it's just causing bacteria there for however long. Here's some symptoms I've heard about bladder infections. A dog that doesn't pee at all, a dog that pees a lot, a dog that's having accidents because they can't hold it to do the right thing. And now you're learning him new because you only had him like two or three days, right, or whatnot. So you can, I, I don't know that I would go out of my way to get a bladder test, but you could like this low cause veterinarian I'm gonna tell you too, maybe you could say, hey, I just picked up this dog, he had a broken leg, it looks like, I wanna see if you can just not wait, this is a problem, it's getting in in three weeks. Yeah. So I'll give you that number, but then you call yours and see, can you get him in just for an x-ray and a, what they do is take urine. So, and then a urine test if you wanna do that. That way you know if he needs antibiotics, okay? But you can see how red it is, and then at home, if I don't see you for two months, you're looking at the pot pads. You're looking at that area. You're looking at like how red I just showed you. We don't want it that red. We want it to look normal. Like you know what normal looks like. It's the same kind of color. We don't want that to not to be flared up. Okay, so those are things I need you to, to watch for. You're a whole different dog. All right, so we're gonna come in here and do those legs now, the back legs. Thank you so much, you guys, for your donations. I appreciate you. Pookie Puppy, man, you just, Pookie Puppy just flew me out to Hawaii to groom two dogs. So, oh. Pookie Puppy, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your guys' support. Like I said, if you paid for a flight and a hotel room, not even a service, I will come to you. If you need me, I will come. If you can afford more, great, but if you just pay for the flight and the hotel, I'm there. Some of you guys have some severely aggressive dogs, and I really want you guys to be able to have an opportunity to get them groomed without sedation. So that's all I need from you. Just be, be fair, hotel and a flight, that's it. 
is probably the cost of sedated grooming. That foot is almost done. Okay, here we go. I'm so glad you picked him up, John. I really am. Thank you. Thank you for taking him, taking him on. He's been through a lot. I can tell by all his body injuries. And I've done this a lot of times, usually I'm cooling my blade. This I usually this will be really like this, and the next time you'll be like rah, 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 <laughs> telling me what to do, like no, and all of a sudden it's like, what happened? Like now you got some flavor? Huh? You got flavor now? So I, it, especially if he doesn't have heartworms. When they come in and they are heartworm positive, they're more shy, quiet, timid, like like this, like tired. The other the only other thing that I can't tell you he does or doesn't have is Lyme disease. Lyme disease is from a tick bite, okay. and the there are two clients I have that their dogs have Lyme disease, and one of them is a doodle. And the second time she came in, the first time she was kind of had spunk, and the second time she was very like this, right? Do you guys know what I'm talking about, my military clients? And I was like, hey, she was really like, she wouldn't stand up. She kept laying down and laying down and laying down, and I was like, do, do you guys... I'm just concerned, and they were like, oh, she has Lyme disease too, and I was like, oh my gosh. So a lot of lay down, a lot of laziness, especially for a big dog, because I can show you my doodles at, eight, at two years old. They're active. They are very active. So if this is, I don't know, check with your vet if there's a test, okay. but if there's a test, it might you could do a um, check, because if you have a stray dog, that's kind of, it's, you it's might go hand in hand. Check everything. Yeah. But because he's so calm, you know, he's just so, Non-combative. Okay. This pause is really something else here. Um, your butt is so warm right now. Your butt is really, really warm on my shoulder. Don't get mad, this is a tough area right here. Don't get whipped back on me, okay? No surprises, okay? Oh, oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Woo, that was that fall. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look, look, that's the paw. We're gonna keep your short hair. <laughs> <laughs> that, it can't get like that on a normal. <laughs> okay. Can you see anything? No, right? Isn't that freaking awesome? You know, I'm so, you're, I'm, we're all lucky. Don't sit down yet. Don't sit down. Don't sit down yet. Don't sit down yet. We just don't sit down. I'm going to get over
The thing is, is that if it kills everything off, where's all the dead bodies? Yeah. Where's all the police? Where do they yeah. go? Do they fall? Like, where? No. Like, <laughs> the, you see them. Huh. How do they just disappear like that? Where are they? Are they evaporate from? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, no joke. They're, I don't see nothing. No dead bodies. Or do they just jump all up? So they're in your house? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? <laughs> Where'd they go? Because the remnants was there. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. And if it was really bad, honestly, this would be bald right here, but it's not. So if they were having fun for a while, partying and, and um, making babies, you know, they didn't stay long enough to tear his body up. That hurts, huh? Okay, bud. I feel you. I feel you on it. Let me fall on his foot. I just like get it off. Like get get it off of my leg, please. Get that off of my leg. Okay. Come here like oh, this, side. like that, and then I'll move this here so they get something, and then I'll come that angle so he doesn't whip back on me. Because that's the first draw, right? And he lifted the leg, which is little. yeah, but it, um, that's the first one he yeah. did at all. Like he's not been saying nothing, and all of a sudden he does that, but he also lifts his leg. So in my opinion, he might be in a little pain there. So let's let's just be aware of it. He waited until the end. <laughs> and they do that, don't they? They freaking wait till the end sometimes, don't they? The last part of this is he's gonna get upset like that. Is that okay like that? Is that okay with you guys? I'm gonna let you guys look at what I'm doing down here. Don't let me forget to change the, the view. All right, buddy. If this hurt, you gotta work with me. And by the way, he's looking at himself. Look, he's looking at yep. himself on camera. He's totally looking at himself. <laughs> Look! Oh my gosh, he's watching himself on camera! Oh my god, dogs are so smart. Here we go. I'm going to try to take it easy. Try to cut through this, um, open this up.
can't get that through. Alright, try this other direction first. Hold on, bud. Hold on, bud. Oh, yeah, I got a bone out. I got a bone out. Boom. Oh, that was a lot. Good job. Good job, Mango. Good job, Mango. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Look at that. I'm getting it off now. Now it's coming. That one was holding, that was holding tight. Like really tight. That was the worst one. The worst one yet. Is this off? No, that's still attached to the foot. Hold on, bud. I know. I know. Oh, yeah. It's off. You're leaning into me. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Here it is. Here's the full picture, buds. Here it is. This is it, Dad. This is it. Look. Right this is it. Look at this. What the heck? What? Oh, are you looking at this? He's like, I don't no. look at that. I ain't looking at that. I ain't trying to look at that. I'm not trying to live that life no more. No? <laughs> Can I take this? Wow. Look at you. Look at you. Terry, thank you so much. Look at you. Mango. You look at a whole other dog. Look at you. Look at you, handsome stuff. Look at you. Let me clean up your face a little bit, huh? Finish that foot, okay? And then we're done. We're going to the back. Okay. Do you mind standing up one more time? I'm going to get my 40 blade here. Oh my goodness, the 40 blade ain't doing nothing. That's the sharpest blade in the fleet. Okay, hold on, don't move, don't move. It's so mad at the 40 blades, like, I can't do nothing for you. Come on, buddy. And it's a ceramic. Come on, buddy. You're all right, you're all right. Give it to me. You're all right, buddy. You're all right. Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Come on, bud. Hang in there. You're doing so good. Woo! Woo! That's a tough one right there. Hang in there. Hang in there. I know it tickles, right? It tickles. Okay. 
Hang in there, bud. I got you. I got you, bud. Okay, let me try this other blade. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, please. Don't do that. I gotta rest my back. Woo. Thank you so much, MP. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. All right, here we go. Ready up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know it tickles. I know it tickles. And I know you don't even know what tickle is, but you don't like it. I know it. Okay, I'll let you rest. Let me look at it in a second, though. Look at all that dirt from his coat, you know? He's partying. You are partying. I'll tell you what, this, that's the longest vacation you'll ever have. Okay, Mango? That is going to be the longest vacay you ever have. <laughs> right? He ain't got to go like that again, is he? Oh, no. I hope he wasn't. Were you out? How long were you out? Two years? No way. Okay. Like maybe a year? Maybe six months. Four. I don't know. I'm not feeling anything here. Okay. Um, I'm, still, I'm still on your back foot. So you have to stand. You do have to stand. Come on. You got to stand up. Okay. We're not coming back here. So I want to get every single thing. The rest of it will just whatever. Wait, once I get done done, we'll go to the bath and then you're, you go home. Is that fair? Pet parent? Yep. So that's why I'm like, I really want to clean up everything yeah. I can so we don't come back here. He's, this is a lot. No. You know what I mean? Exactly. This is a lot, right? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not making it up. I thought you were like, okay. <laughs> this is a lot for a dog. Yes. I and like, I would assume I like later he's going to be tired all day. Yeah, I don't like sitting in the barber chair more than 30 minutes. <laughs> right? <laughs> he's been here for a couple hours. Has he? Are we working on a couple hours? Maybe. Oh, my gosh. I haven't stopped, so I mean, honestly. I think maybe two hours. Two hours? Well, yeah. I told you three. When I, in the parking lot, I was like, mm -hmm. this could be a three-hour thing, right? Yep. Yeah, because you've been live for two hours and yeah. three minutes. You liking all the attention, boy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, keep me posted, will you? Definitely. Honestly, you guys, I told him I hope he comes back, but it's not like someone comes in for a free groom or... If, if he ends up helping, but it doesn't, it's not like I said, expect him to come back. Like he, the, the owner might not come back, so it's like, just keep us posted. Yeah. Check it one more time. Come in front of me. Hop, 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 hop. Yeah, what's that? Okay, it came out. Don't do that, don't do that. Oh, they stopped banging next door, so that's good. Make sure I get all that out. It's 
tell God is, oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Later, don't let me forget that there's um, something I want to tell you to do for the raw stuff. Okay. So you don't do the wrong thing and, and there's and make it up. Don't do Vaseline or anything like that. Okay. Don't do Neosporin in those areas. It'll just keep it lubricated. Mm -hmm. And that, don't do that. Okay. But I'll, I'll give you some suggestions. Okay. So don't let me forget. If you forget, just text me. Just say, we forgot to talk about that. That happens a lot. When there's a lot of stuff that go, go yeah. over. Because at the end, it's like, okay, you, you want out too. I know you got to go to work, so i see you later. I'm like, dang it, I forgot to tell him this, and I forgot to tell him that. Okay. In your opinion, do you think um, we still have a cu couple things to do? But do you feel like for the ears, do you want me to finish right now today? Or do you want to come back? Let's go ahead and get him to take okay. care of since he's yes. being good. Yep, yep, okay. I just want to make sure. And then I also want to ask if um, you feel like, like you said, he's been standing here two hours. Mm -hmm. Not a stop, so, so have I and so have you. But do you feel like he needs a break to go take a walk or anything like that? Or would you like to stop for a break? Uh, I mean, I'm... He's fine, right? You're, yeah. yeah, you're the... However you feel, whatever you recommend. He doesn't seem, so for me, I would just push. I would just push, we're just almost yeah. done. Mm -hmm. The next thing I'm gonna do is ears. Yeah. So that's gonna take a minute. So I thought I'd ask that before I go into that area. Because at the end of the day, I've been going at a nice pace. Yeah. I'm I haven't been rushing him or yelling or hyper or nothing. Like he's going at a really nice pace. Yeah, and I want him to feel as good as he can when we leave here. Okay. So. But sometimes, like, um, it's, I, I would just push, people don't do things live. So what, what people don't understand is they'll watch it and be like, why did you even do that dog for three hours? And the honesty is that he was running astray for 24 hours over months straight with this, so he can go through three hours to get it off. But some people don't see that. And so I always like to let the pet owner make the decision. For me, if I picked up a dog like this, we would get it done now. It isn't like... I would be, waste the time um, to do a half of it. And then he still smells funky monkey and then have to come back yeah. out of your work schedule, your life, you know, maybe you have children, I don't know, but you know what I'm saying? Like all these things to consider, you're here now. But sometimes people do, they're like, yeah, I'm kind of ready, I'm, I'm ready to go myself. Yeah. You know, let's go ahead and wrap it up and I'll come back. And then sometimes, honestly, they don't come back. You can finish up. I like all the whiskers out of his mouth here because that wraps the teeth. So that's why I'm really picky about making sure we get all that. If he's sucking on his uh, hair into his teeth, it'll rot it faster. He's already got some plaque here. Interesting. Learned a lot today. Did you? <laughs> that Google review. Yes. <laughs> Everything you learn, put Absolutely. it in there. So when I do my book on the Google reviews, I can see like everything, it'll be about everything that happened. You can do a before and after picture too. So the flaps happened a couple times, but it didn't keep going. So I, I'm, I feel pretty good about him not doing that when he gets home. Oh, them ears, man, I need something else. And I noticed he had some really soft hair, but then I saw like, Piece of the black horse hair. Okay. Where? Uh, on his body, I can see like it's just a thing. I don't, you know. Okay. Like it's just random. Yeah. Yeah. 
So he, um, I'll just say my dog's also, so that's the Labrador coming through, Labrador Retriever. So he doodles okay. is sometimes Golden Retriever and poodle, Standard Poodle Mix. And the Golden Retriever hair can be spiky too and coarse, but usually it's the Labrador. Oh. So you might know, that, like, yeah, I see it right here, right? Mm -hmm. This stuff coming through. And actually, as my dog, my boy dog, my boy doodle has gotten older, I'm like, I'll hug him. And he's like semi poking me. I'm like, dang, your hair is really wiry, you know. And that's what it is, is that part of it. Doesn't look like there was much of this happening, though, just a few. Yeah, so as it grows back, you might see way more come in. So that'd be kind of cool. And just so you know, Black Friday is the time to get a DNA test. So if you wanted to find out what he really is, that, that's the time to get it. They usually do some sales everywhere on stuff. Yeah, I would have sometimes a dog at the very last minute, like the, we're done, and it's like, and now they're really upset, like, what? You waited until all of it's off to say anything? <laughs> okay. I come into a wrap. All my scissors are in that bag. Okay, no, this one, that's too long. Let me try this one. I brought all my, all my favorite equipment on that last trip, so that last trip was just a few days ago. So my bag just got to me. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope they didn't lose my okay. bag. This will be fun. This will be fun. Now, this will be gross, too. You're going to be involved here, Dad. Because he might, he might not like this, but we'll see. Let's see what's up. Let me move all this. I want to take a picture of the dirt. We have dirt on the table like that. You know what I'm saying? And I gotta do your back nails, okay? Alright, Dad, when I go to do the ears, you're gonna stand, you're gonna do um, one here, and I'm gonna do that ear, and then you're gonna come over here and I'm like this, and you're gonna let me do that ear. Okay. Which side are we starting on? I'm going to do, um, you'll be on that side first, and I'll do this one, but I'm going to do a toenail trim real quick. Okay. So you're welcome to get in there. If I had a doodle, which I do, I have two, brush, you brush, line brush, brush down, brush down, brush down, all the way to there. Okay. Then you use a comb to check. If it doesn't go through, it's like boom, 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 it's matted. So then you're like, I didn't brush good enough. So I got to go back and line brush. It's like, so I like to start down here and go up, brush down, check, up, brush down, check. And I'm like literally bringing the hair up, brushing it down with the brush. Okay. And then check with your comb. The comb doesn't lie. So if it's matted, it don't bathe the dog. Or, or then it will just be building this back up. Because okay. the hair is curly. So as it grows out curly like your mustache, uh -huh. if you don't keep it brushed, it's, and this is a lot, 21 follicles, you know, each 
21 hairs in each follicle kind of thing. I think that's right. That's a lot of hairs in just one follicle. So the, as it's growing, it, there's nothing now. But in five days, you're going to see growth. And in 10, you're going to see curliness. And if you don't keep it maintained, don't then. Let's shave down in two months. Every two months, I'll see you. We do a shave down. It doesn't have to be this short. This is a 10 blade. It can be the next one up, which is my favorite. I do it on my noodles. So it's less maintenance for my dogs. I only have to shave them every two months. I can go with three months, but it just takes four or five days for my doodles top of her head to be matted if I'm petting her every day. Just as it's growing out and I'm petting her, that alone gets her hair matted unless you're brushing. So if you don't want to brush every day, it's okay, but just know that I want to shave them every two months. Okay. Then there's low maintenance. Okay. If you want to let him get thicker, you'll see if he starts to get hot. My, dog, my boy doodle, his hair is cotton compared to my female doodle. My female doodle is um, curly and not cotton-like. So if it's cotton, my boy doodle is the seven blade right now. And the last night in 30, 40 degrees, he's like, <sighs> I was like, you're hot. I'm like, do I need to shave you down again? Like I already did like a couple weeks ago. I was like, really? Do I need to? He's hot because you got the heater going or when it's summer, he's got the yeah. summer going. So it's just up to you. When you see what he does, after he gets comfortable, you'll be like, okay, you prefer to have less so, hair because yeah. he will pant less. Okay, you, you'll need to learn that. Okay. And then if you guys are really busy, like I said, then decide, honey, if she's not watching now, just say, honey, this is what she said. Every two months, you can stretch it to three. If you stretch it to three, likely we'll be doing this. Unless you're brushing every day or every couple days, I say every day on purpose, because you really do, on a doodle that's growing out, after this is kind of growing out, you need to touch it every day. Yeah. If you touch it every day and you don't have time to do 40 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour, a night, who does? Then you would do a body part a day. You're going to do this entire body part right here thoroughly today. And then you're going to do this whole torso and everything like that tomorrow. And then you're going to do the front legs the next day, which is 10 minutes if you do it really good and quickly and thorough. Okay. Brush, comb, and then if you really want to add stuff, um, they say never to brush the hair dry so you can buy like a leave-in conditioner. So in, on my YouTube videos, right, you guys, I'll do a squirt, squirt, and brush. So that I'm never breaking the hair. But we're, if we're going to shave, whatever. If we're going to shave, it doesn't, whatever, dude. We're, we're breaking the hair off all the way. We're shaving her down, him down. So the next thing is ear hair. So once I get all this ear hair pulled out, um, ear hair should be done every time he's groomed. Okay. If you skip the groomer, then you need to do it. If you see, if you open the ear. I will not be getting groomed. Okay. This groomer is Just saying. Very, it'll happen. Okay, um, if you go to the groomer, then when you leave, sit in your car and open the ears and look. I would look to make sure all the ear hair was pulled out and the ears were cleaned. That's what I would expect my groomer to do. Then I would always look at the nails and make sure none of them were hitting the vein, meaning they're all bloody. If you've got that, then you can call me and we can talk if you're not using me. Um, when it comes to, so, nail trim every two months at the, Every six to eight weeks. So if you did every two months a groom, that should be everything. Ears, okay. nails, haircut. Every two months. If finances are a problem, then save your money and then every three months do it all. And then maybe in between every do two months for nail trims all the time. That way we can handle these big nails that are getting out of control. Yeah. If he continues being an awesome dog, I would say move into dremeling. Again, this is only assuming you don't come back to me. I need you to know these things. I would move them into dremeling so we can bring all those heavy, thick, buff nails, keep them right there where we want them. It will not make them go reverse, but it will keep them right there, okay? We would move into dremeling. That's going to go on your card for me. So the next time if he's like this good, then we would do, do dremeling. Have I groomed a dog like this, attitude and everything, and the next groom he was mean? Yes. So I'm saying that as if that could happen, because it can. They'll find their flavor, their attitude, their new home allows them to behave in certain ways, and then they're not like this again. So this may look different later. Okay, you know, like if I only get to see him right now, I gotta tell him all this stuff, right you guys? Okay, we never had dust in here like that before.
Once we do the ears, we're out, totally done. There's a lot to it, right? There's a lot to, to this job. so much training with you. <laughs> I won't do so much training with you then. Let's do that. Okay, uh, fear powder. He must have. Get your ear pads, cotton balls, whatever you're going to use to clean. Let's just get those ready. That's, hopefully that's not your wife calling you. No. Um, okay. Like, honey, tell her to do this. Tell her that while she's there. Get your, I'm going to get all this ready to go here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is remove the ear hair. Okay, I'm going to put some powder here. The powder only gives me grip. It does not make anything numb, okay? And the color, I don't love the color, but we do have to remove everything first before we can even do any treatment at all, whether it's here, there, or wherever. I'm going to try with my fingertips first. You're lucky we're in a mask. It's just powder. Even if you went in, I have a video that the lady went in for, I, we caught this. She went in and the, her current veterinarian wouldn't clean it. So she got the solutions to treat it, but she came back. She called me and I said, come back and I'll pull it all out for you. Yeah. So it, I'm just going to help you pull it all out. And what you can do is we can save this as well so you can take it with you. There's pain, right? Isn't that pain? What he's doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pain. So he definitely let me know. He's going to feel better. He's going to feel better soon. Oh, you guys better watch out for this video. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, you're doing so good. Dogs that get this done regularly don't act like this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. You're doing so good, Mango. You are doing so good. Hang in there. Hang in there, bud. Hang in there. You're doing so good. You're doing so good, buddy. Daddy's rubbing your nose. Yeah, you're going to get big treats later, okay? Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Okay. Hang in there, buddy. I got you, man. I got you. We're going to get it out. We're going to keep it out, okay? There we go. Does it smell funky? Yeah. Yeah, it smells really funky monkey. So I'm only focused on what's in the ear canal here. I'm actually not trying to pull stuff. That's why I moved everything around. Yeah. I don't need to pull stuff that's not in the ear. Like all this, if it's not in the ear, I don't need to pull it. If it's in the ear, I want to get it out, pull it out. So most of it is in the ear. Your 
I'm gonna put some powder on my fingertips and get a grip on some of the loose stuff just hanging around. Okay, I got to come to the Timo stuff on that one. Right. What's a good example of something that just come, pulls out? A husky when they de-shed their coat, you know, like uh, yeah. it just pulls out like that. What what else? What else pulls right out? Go up, look up for me. I mean, you're looking up, but look. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what am I trying to ask. Oh gosh, it's such a nasty ear. Well, this is going to take all this cotton ball I just got. Here we go. Everything you see me doing, do you feel like I'm hurting him? No. Not, well, I have to get that out. That's quite painful, but everything I'm doing needs to happen, yeah. right? Watch this. Ooh. Look at all that. Yeah. Did I dig it down in his ear? No, no it's just right, right there, there, right? Look at this. You see that? It is black. So look here, look, because you're going to have to do this daily. Okay. Look in there. Uh-huh. Even if you had a flashlight. Yeah. I'm sorry, John. I don't know that you were, you knew what you were getting yourself into. <laughs> it's just, do I have a light on here? What is this? Do you see a light? I thought this was a light. Okay, come on. Maybe it opens downwards. What's that? That's for your thumb right there? Oh, there. Where'd that light come? Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. This is Betty. She let me have it. Look, look down in there with me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get it all out now, but I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay. And I need you to know what that is. So I need you to know that what was in there. Girl, I don't even know how to turn it off. He pulled it. Oh, yeah. How'd you know? How'd you know? So smart. So smart. Okay. So we're going to get all this out, and it's really, 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 really nasty. What's another word than nasty? I don't know, but it's really gunky. So I'm going to get it all out for you, but this is something you're going to do, and I'm going to tell you more about it later. Okay. Okay, let's turn his head this way. Let's turn your head down. There we go. Let me get in there. So, I'm so sorry. Hang in there, bud. Hang in there. Let me get this chunk. Oh, I know. It's so chunky. It's so chunky, man. Let me see. Can I just pull? What is this piece here? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh. Oh, gosh. Look at that. It's so chunky because it's stuck to hair. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Can, can you move your head down a little bit? Can you look the other way? Can I go this way? Can I go this way, bud? This is why your hair has to be pulled out. It's holding on to the hair. Okay? Yeah, that don't mm. stink. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. It stinks? Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 it does. Okay, I can't smell. I, I can smell all kinds of stuff. So when I say come in for all these little bumps and loops uh -huh. and all that, there's a bunch of crevices right here. Yeah. See, you, his ears are really big. You can see them really well. You want to make sure you get in this, all these little areas here. You don't have to use a hemostat, but I do sell the hemostat as well. So you can just get in there like that because your finger is not going to get in there. In these little, you can use a cotton swab to do that if you want. But once I've gotten it clean, it's really you're maintaining now. Yeah. Okay. So this will be the worst of the worst. And then if I see you in two months, great. I'm, I'm going to maintain them. Or at least keep the, your hair pulled out and check them for you. So wipe forward there. There's a little pocket. Wipe back because you got all those little bumps. Uh -huh. You know, I'm not saying bumps, but what are they? Yeah, the little 
crevices, holes. You want to get all up in there with your finger ain't going to fit in there. You want to get all that out. Back in there, there's a whole pocket. Do you see the pocket? Mm -hmm. This is your dog now. And so if you were doing this, you have to get in there. He ain't going to ever get in there by himself. Yeah. In the tub, we're going to flush his ears today. So when we do that, um, the solution, I sell everything. So that's what I would do if I was picking him up to take him home. This would be something I'm going to do regularly until it's gone and gone. And I'll give you more information on that as, as we work it. Okay, here I am, you guys. I'm coming in, coming in for you. I'm going to put this right here. You're going to change sides with me. So you'll stand over there, and I'll do this side now. Okay. All right, we're almost done, you guys. Once we're done, I'm going to read off some of the... Um, people who have donated over the last year or so, and I just want to say thank you for your donations. It's going to help him cover his grooming today. And thank you, everyone, for participating in the live chat. I really appreciate you. Okay, let me get the cotton balls ready for that here. We're going to flush in the tub because he's going to flip his head all different kinds of ways. And we want to do that in the tub instead. So it doesn't look like they've ever been pulled down? No, never. Wow. Right, you guys, this doesn't look like it's ever been pulled out. So this one, I'm going to just get this back there, because this one's that huge rock right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. I know, I know, I know. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry, bud. I'm so sorry. Never again. Never, 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 ever, never. Okay? Never, never, never. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, I know, I know, bud. I know, I know. Okay, hang in there. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. You're doing so good, baby. Doing so good. You did so good for the whole groom. Hold on, hold on. Come in. There you go. Nice big tug there. Nice big tug. Okay, one more. There you go. There you go. You're doing so good, buddy. This is just ripping at you anyway. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I got to get this out. I'm so, so sorry. I don't want to pull your skin, so bear with me here. I got to maneuver around. This is insane. I don't want to rip the whole thing out at one time. This is way, 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 way worse than the other year. Just leave it in there. Yeah, whatever, man. Whatever you say, buddy. Whatever you say, buddy. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whatever you say. One reason why you should pull the ear hair out on a doodle is because it will mat up into a ball and stay in the ear. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, buddy. Never, never, ever, never, never, ever, never, ever again. Never, ever. Oh. Never, ever again, right? Never, ever. Insane. Whoa. Monstrous. That was monstrous. I know, right? Oh, he's moving his arm like, ooh. How you doing, John? I'm good. Okay. Oh, I know. I know it. I know it. Okay, let's, um, let's come and let me get my fingertips with powder so I can... This is not a numbing agent. I don't know who taught you guys that. This is not a numbing agent. It's just powder to grip. Let's get all this fuzzy wuzzy stuff off. Good job, okay. Now we're gonna get our cotton swab here. Cotton ball, excuse me. Here we go. 
Look at all this right here. It's just right there. Look at all that. Look how black that is. Look how black that is. Gonky red. It's like, he's like, did you get it on you? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll let you wash your hands. <laughs> I didn't ask yet, but I mean, do you have to use the bathroom? You're good? No, I'm You're fine. okay? Yep. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. You're doing so good, Mingo. You're doing so good. It's really, this one's really juicy in there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure where all that fluid come from, but whoa. Like I said, your finger's not going to fit in there. You've got to use a hemostat in here or a cotton swab, a Q-tip like that. One of those kind of products. That little hole right there. So taking all this out today, I would say your regimen starts tomorrow. Okay. Well, if you do something I tell you to do, start it tomorrow. Let his ears rest tonight because I've gotten it all out. But start hard tomorrow. Because it won't go away on its own. Okay. Does that feel good? How does that feel good and pain at the same time? I don't know. He's like, finally. Is that like a finally? Huh? I'm going to scoot forward there and back. Oh, gosh. There's, let me let him breathe. There, there's more in there. Okay. It's like the other ear, so i got to come in here. Um. I'm going to look down, buddy. Help out. I'm glad I was looking away that time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Chunky stuff. You see it? Chunky stuff. Okay, more. Well, see, so he's slapping his ear. So we are, do you feel it right there? Yeah. I feel it, how it's puffy right there yeah. already? Just from that, from the ear now, from cleaning the ears. So we will, I think you should get that. I'll show it to you. Or I'll at least borrow you one out. You're good, you're good. Hey, hey. I don't want him to flap flap, so help him. Oh. He, he can, but I don't want him to do it over and over. Just a little bit more here. Okay, okay. Okay, good. Let me look at it. Let me look. Okay, that's good enough for now. When, yeah, yeah, they're just because the tip of the ear is flapping. Boom, 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 boom. And slapping it. So try to just hold them there until we get to the tub. I have something for it. Okay. Okay, hold it in there, okay? And, um,. Last but not the least, let's come into this area here. Let's 
That's your flea comb of stuffed eye boogers. So let's take that off here. This off. Okay, awesome. Okay, great. All right, we're going to go to the bath. Um, you're good to go, Dad? Yes. Okay. Do you have anything you want to say to YouTube before we say goodbye? Um. <laughs> Any other than you've YouTube? been great. Okay. Been absolutely amazing. How was your experience? Uh, phenomenal. phenomenal. And um, he's just so much better now. Was it awesome to watch? Yes, very informative, and don't know what you're getting into <laughs> when you're helping. So. Helping a dog? No, 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 no. When you're helping a dog, yeah. when you pick up a stray dog, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Yep. Yeah, I, I can agree with you. Okay, I'm going to set you up over here, and um, I'm going to come and close you guys out. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe, like, and share button. We'll see you on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We'll see you on all those places, Facebook. I appreciate all you guys, all you guys who supported the channel today. Thank you so much. There's just one thing I'm going to do after I bring him to the bathroom. I'm going to come and close you guys out, but I have one thing to say if you want to just give me a, a couple more seconds. All right, come on. Let's go, Mango. Let's go in the bath. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is, I've seen this before, so it's okay. Uh, we open the door. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You can leave it open. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. How do we push, Dad? How do we push? Okay, now that I took my mask off, I can totally smell the funky monkey up in here. It is a funky monkey in this room right now. So anyways, I wanted to say thank you to all these individuals, okay? Wanda, thank you so much for your donations. Donna F, Robin S, multiple times, Charles S, Diana W, Carla J, Angela M, M Allison D, Thank you so much for your donations. Um, Jennifer T, Carla J, Diane W. Okay, I, I, I just called those out. Yep, I just called those out, okay. I wanna say Heather B, Jana J, Angie S, I was almost gonna say her name. Sherry W, Paula C, thank you so much for your donations. When you donated, you went online to myfavoritegroomer.com. You literally paid for what is called a put towards rescue groom. So in cases like this, Mandy M, there are some of you, this should be everybody, but if I miss you, I'm not taking advantage of you. I really appreciate you. I track them all. Jane F, Angie S, Shirley H, another one from Sherry W, Lindsay E, Diane W again, like all these go to things like this. And I want to say with everything we did today with this one is probably the majority because there'll be like a dollar donation, $2 donation, $10 donation, $5 donation. They all come through myfavoritegroomer.com and it's called rescue group. Or you have allowed overpaying of shipping to go towards that. Kelly S, Chandra W, and Joyce H. Thank you so much for donating. Your money goes towards helping other people. I appreciate you. You can donate at myfavoritegroomer.com for rescue dogs. And that's where I use funds like this to help this gentleman have like no cost at grooming unless he wants to donate too. So I couldn't do it without you and neither can some of these dogs. So without you, we wouldn't be here. So make sure you subscribe, share, like, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot everybody for watching and thanks for your donations and support today. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.